entering Roborough Ward now. I've got a feeling I left the camera on in my pocket. Don't know how long it's been on. There could be some horses following behind me in a sec. So we're going down this little bridle path now, entering Roborough Ward, but we aren't actually going to be doing any Warren really, only skirting away from it as I head towards the Piney Slights area and Cheddar Gorge area. It's already half past 12. So it's taken two hours to get here. I said that though, didn't I? I said it would take you an hour to get up. Um, it would take you an hour to get up West Mendip Way and another hour and that's where it, that was dead right. So to be quite honest, we haven't, I haven't got time to do that other bit I was planning. So I'm going to, hopefully I can come back on, it could be Thursday or Friday when the weather's not too bad, and do that section I wanted to do, um, including Black Rock. Because I don't want to rush. Hold on, somebody coming. Oh, back on. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to rush, so I probably want to leave that bit out and do that another day. Because I do not want to rush. <sighs> Just to, for the sake of doing the thing I normally do, I'm quite happy just to plod along. It's not cold, it's, it's nice. I've got this big coat on, but it's not too hot. It's all right. I've got light trousers on today. I put them up for the first time. I wore the light trousers. It's paid off. If it got cold, I've got the water, I've got the wind brakes to put on. If it got cold, as you know, I lost my hat today. Or probably on the bus. Left it on the bus. I'm just going to forget about it anyway. I'm not even going to go and try and retrieve it or anything. Some horses come in behind me. They cut a lot of trees down here. I remember it from last time, which isn't that long ago. They cleared all this area. Oh, someone else coming. I'm going to turn off again. Right. I've just climbed up a very steep, leafy bank to get up here. It's quite boggy down there on the lower track. I had to cross the stream to my feet. For a minute, I felt a little bit of water, just a splash. But not think terrible and they'll dry out pretty quick. I had to get across the stream. So, so this is Roebury Warren everyone on the 18th of March 2024. I set off from home two and a half hours ago, three and a half hours ago. Had to get a bus to the other side of Winscombe, where I joined the West Mendip Way and walked up it all the way to Shipham, skirted Shipham, and climbed all the way up here to Robert Warren. It's still winter, so it's still looking bleak at the moment. Because not all the trees are fir, fir trees, so a lot of these haven't got their leaves yet. And up here, unlike Western Woods, although a lot of trees in Western Woods are holding tight, um, these are holding tight because they're very exposed up here, the trees. Very exposed. Yeah, that breeze is quite cooling after climbing up that bank. Just climbed up the bank. I could have just gone up the track and turned, but I remember this, doing this before. Something you should avoid really starting now because of ticks. In fact, I thought I saw a tick on me this morning. Not sure. 
don't know where it went. Sort of my on my wrist, but I'm not sure if it was a tick or just money spider. So I'm doing a little bit of video with a Sony of the, this little bit of visit here. There'll be a lot more visits to Robert Warren. Lots of uh, little trips and out on the area of Outstanding Beauty. That's all got to be done. Velvet Bottom, all that sort of thing. Uh, throughout the summer. But I also... Because if I had my van, I'd be going over to the Quantox more and, and Exmoor and camping and everything. But I can't. I haven't got a van anymore. And I can't afford one now. I can't afford one anymore. It's, everything's so expensive now. Everything has gone up massively. It really has food, bills, everything. You're like living on a shoestring, really. And they give you an increase in one hand and take it away with the other, see? They don't feel any better off. Last year they gave me an increase and then they cut me somebody something else. The council tax went up, equivalent. So I was never any better off. Give it to one hand, take it with the other. That's what it is. Anyway, it's a lovely day. I'm lucky to be able to get out here. I have struggled a bit today. I don't know why. It could be that I haven't been out for a month. Apart from two small walks in the wood. <sighs> could be three. In a month. Possibly three. So, his body doesn't take long to be lazy. <sighs> and there's me thinking, oh, you can plough up there and then you can go there. Now, I used to be able to do that. There was another section I was going to do. I'm not going to do it now. I decided just to take my time. <sighs> because it'll soon be four o'clock. The first three hours is gone. I don't want to rush that other bit. It was another section I wanted to do. Um, where the cows might not be out. <sighs> but I don't think there's time. It's over near Piney Slights, and it would meant going through Piney Slights Farm, getting into some of the fields where they have cows, usually, going, but they're not, if they're not there, going down through those fields, down to the wibbly wobbly path, up through Black Rock, up the other side of Cheddar Gorge, and then back to Cheddar, but I... I don't know if I've got time to do it, and I don't want to rush. I am, I am a bit breathless today. It's true. I am a bit breathless today. <sighs> I'll just take a picture. I've got well, a camera in one hand, and uh, Sony in the other. The route I'm doing now. We we'll take me past the horse stables, Tynan's Farm, which I wasn't long here when I did a reverse walk. It wasn't that long ago. Well, it's over a month ago. Um, it's one of the walks I did. But, uh, yeah, I decided to climb up through that leafy bank because there's a lower path down there which is probably very, very boggy so I decided to come up here. Because <clears throat> there is a lower track down there. Doesn't look too bad but I think it'll be a lot muddier. We've got more mud to come. <sighs> All the water running down. What's happening in the world? Oh yeah, P President Putin has won the election for another to be president for another six years. And of course, everyone's saying it's rigged. 
his opponents are either dead, like v Navalny, who died, who was murdered. They put him in Siberia and they killed him. Um, he hadn't done anything wrong. He was just the oppos opposition. And he was popular with people. So he got murdered. And, uh, and locked away for two and a half years. Then they tried to poison him and he got away. The Germans made him better. And then he said he had to come back to Russia. And they arrested him as soon as he got off the plane. And he died not long after. And... Uh, his, all his family have to live abroad because they're all at risk. And somebody, one of his, in his team, got hit with a hammer the other day. And uh, it's very dangerous for them. Everyone's got fear in Russia. Apparently it's sort of got, gone back to a, quite a re repressive regime. Ruled by fear, again. Like when the Stalin ruled... Because I think Stalin was one of Putin's heroes. So he's trying to emulate him, I think. He's the same age as me, Putin. Born the same year. 1952. Wow. Anyway. He was doing alright, I thought. And he, he wrecked it. When he invaded the Ukraine. He wrecked it. That's what I think. Greed. Well, the thing is, Russia used to be a grand empire, just like the British had a big empire. And then in the, I think it was the 70s or 80s, a lot of these states that were in the empire, they wanted to be independent, which meant the USSR collapsed. And went back to their own little cultures. He's just trying to recapture them back. He wants Russia to be great again like that. But he's not moving forward very well, is it? At least we're relinquishing all our empire stuff now. I'm made to feel guilty for having it in the first place. Like artworks getting returned that we nicked when we captured countries. That's uh, being asked to be t returned to the native countries. You know, mummies. Stuff from other c countries around the world. India, Africa. Which is fair enough. I mean, someone come and pinch Big Ben, we'd want it back, wouldn't we? So, that's what's happening in the world. Is a presidential election going to be starting up? in America with Trump and Biden that's coming up next year and we've got um, an election, general election coming up in our country within the next year and that's we're in turmoil because we haven't really got a, what I call a proper opposition they all seem the same to me They all seem the same. So that's what's going on. Various people, celebrities dying all the time. Um, the bloke who wrote Cock and Sang Cockney Rebel died yesterday. He was only a year older than me. I can't remember his name now. But I remember the song and I remember his face. Um, yeah, a lot of people popping their clogs. My generation are and above me, I'm starting to go. And Prince Charles isn't well. He's got cancer. Fergie's got cancer. Um, Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales, is not well. She's had major abdominal surgery, so we don't know what she's had. Um, Harry and his Megan are in America. Blacklisted Prince Edward. He's the, he's one. He was now Duke of Edinburgh. He's um, holding up the honour of the family with a good work ethic and all that sort of thing and duty. 
Prince Andrew's in disgrace, although he was allowed to lead the family into church when none of the other royals could make it the other day. He was involved in a sex scandal, and that's, that hasn't resolved completely. More stuff keeps getting dug up. Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, Iceland and its volcanoes. I knew the grey skies that we were getting were tied up with Iceland's volcanoes. They weren't saying nothing. But today they announced that one of the volcanoes is erupting for the fourth time and the people that live nearby have got to evacuate again. Not Reknavik, but some other town. I knew the grey skies and prolonged stuff was due to a volcano. The world's in a mess. People are starving. Gaza, of course, where they're being obliterated by Israel. Murdered. Children, women, old people. That's a terrible, terrible sin. A terrible thing what the Israel are doing. They're, well, they're leaders. Yeah, I knew what his name is. He's a right-wing extremist and he wants... He goes on about Hamas wanting to kill all the Jews. Well, he wants to kill all the Palestinians. That's terrible. I think a lot of people were shocked how far they took it. They want to obliterate. And they're still doing it. I mean, everyone's telling them they cannot go into a city of one and a quarter million innocent people and start shooting them up. That's what they want to do in order to get Hamas. Anyway, the planet is still beautiful. Elon Musk sent another one of his big rockets up the other day, apparently, with some success. Wasn't supposed to do much, just to handle a few technical things. One of the biggest, what is the biggest rocket? Apparently, when it's ready, it can hold a hundred people. And he's, they're making these rockets. And they want them to work. For the time, they might just have to orbit the Earth. Or they can get to the moon. Because Putin is also threatening nuclear war against the West. We could all be vaporised within an hour. So, it's a horrible thought, isn't it? <sighs> horrible. And I've lived with that fear all my life, actually, because of the 50s, when they were doing nuclear bomb tests around the world. <sighs> Found the bomb and all that. Since some, some of the first bombs were let off the year I was born. There was the ones in Japan, of course, during the end of the Second World War that they practiced on Nasagasaki and another place. I remember my mother giving me a book, and I must have been only about 10 or 11. It was all about the nuclear war. She said, you must read this, Sheila. She wanted me to be aware of this terrible threat. And of course, the film Oppenheimer has been a huge success all around the planet. Got many, many awards. I haven't seen it, of course, yet, but... I'm trying to bring it to attention, but it's also scaremongering, really. And I come out on these beautiful walks, right? And I think... Are we going to lose all this? It's all the records we've done pictures, is it all going to go? Have they sent anything up in space to prove we existed? Over and out everyone.